Here's a video that explains why replacing your bathtub is so expensive. I get this question asked all the time. Why is replacing my bathtub so much more expensive than reglazing it? It's just not the cost of the bathtub. It's that you have to manually tear out all the walls, redo all the plumbing, and put everything back together, then reinstall the walls, which usually involves doing wall coverings or ceramic work. Incredibly expensive. This is why reglazing your bathtub is the most economical choice. Check out this video and you'll see what I'm talking about. Bathtubs come in many different shapes, sizes, and styles, but the most common one by far is one just like this. 60 inch, five foot, and 30 or 32 inches wide, and 14, 16, or 18 inches tall. Now it's called an alcove tub because it's installed with walls called the bath surround on three sides. Now when it's time to replace a tub like this, it's usually part of a much bigger bathroom renovation. Here's why. See this flange right here? This is designed to prevent water from leaking down in behind the wall. But for it to work properly, it must be installed behind the tile on all three sides. So to remove the tub, you'll need to remove the tile, usually down to the studs. Once the tub surround is completely removed, you can disconnect the plumbing. Using a screwdriver, remove the drain screen. And then you can use a special tub drain wrench to remove the drain plug. Then remove the overflow plate and the stopper assembly. If you don't have access to the drain connections from an unfinished room below, you need to cut through the walls or ceiling to expose the drain lines. Once you have access, Remove the drain and the overflow by cutting through the pipes or by unscrewing the threaded connections. Now we're ready to remove the bathtub. This tub is cast iron, which makes it very heavy. So we're gonna use a sledgehammer to break it into pieces. Be sure to wear safety glasses and you could cover the tub with a drop cloth to prevent flying debris. Now, if you have an acrylic or a fiberglass tub, you should be able to cut it up with a reciprocating saw like this. Porcelain enamel steel tubs should be removed in one piece. Some tubs are meant to be installed in a bed of mortar. The mortar will help support the tub from flex when you step into it. Also help to level that tub perfectly. But it's always important to follow the manufacturer's instructions. Now, the tub we're installing doesn't require a mortar bed. It has this reinforced foundation right here, so all you really need is a firm subfloor that's level. For this installation, we decided to add new plywood on top of the original subfloor to bring it to the correct height and to make it perfectly level. Next, we placed the new acrylic bathtub in the opening and confirmed that it was level. We pre-drilled the flange and secured the tub to the studs with two inch exterior pan head screws. You may need to add shims between the flange and the stud. The next step is to install the new bath waste and overflow. Hold the overflow against the back of the tub and then insert the stopper linkage down into the overflow and attach the faceplate with the screws provided. From below, attach the bath tee to the overflow pipe, and then install the bath shoe into the bath tee, making sure that it aligns exactly with the hole in the tub. Don't forget the gaskets that go between the tub and the bath shoe. Install a P-trap to the bath waste and overflow, and then make the connections to the existing drain line. The last step is to make a watertight connection between the tub and the tub shoe. Just tighten it up with your tub drain wrench and attach the cover plate. Replacing a bathtub can be complicated and every installation is different. Even if you know all the steps, you may still want to work with a licensed plumber to ensure that your project meets all local building codes. 